Good morning guys. So today's video is a mommy morning video. It's not really a routine video. It's just this particular morning. Spend the morning with me kind of video. I'm just showing you everything that I accomplished this particular morning, a Monday morning, which is, you know, a busy morning trying to get the big kids off to school and, and get the house kind of back to a good starting point, you know, after the chaos of the weekend. But anyway, first things first is get some breakfast for the kiddos. They usually have like Pop-Tarts or cereal, something super basic for breakfast. And then I did have to take care of Barrett's bed this morning because he had peed in it the night before and we had to kind of like makeshift uh, like sleeping situation for him. So I needed to get the, the clean sheets out of the dryer and take care of that. Anyway, back to the kitchen. So almost every morning I have uh, a clean dishwasher full of dishes to put away. So got to get working on that. And of course, sometimes you get interrupted when you're in the middle of doing one household chore, right? Trying to do household chores while around the kiddos and with the kiddos, you know, is is a big adventure all in itself. So the kids needed some help. Aaron had spilled his cereal milk, so I needed to go over and take care of that. And then back to the dishes once again. And then I remembered I forgot to get their lunches ready. I always make their lunches the night before, but I just need to like get them in the backpacks, right? So I have to fill up their little water bottles for school and get those ready. Fill up myself a water bottle to take with us on the ride to school, just in case anybody needs a drink on the way to school. Now I clean up from breakfast, of course, and then I usually do let the kiddos get on their devices. They get on their little iPads or whatever, and as long as they have, you know, like gotten ready for the day, they can get on their devices, and that gives me some time to like get the house into a decent state, and it also gives them a little bit of like chill time before it's time to really start the day and get into school and all that good stuff. So, um, you know, we're not, <laughs> we're definitely not screen free over here. I mean, we do try to have like every once in a while, we try to have like screen free days but yeah the kiddos like on a normal regular day they have their iPads first thing in the morning so uh, first thing as soon as I get into the bathroom to help everybody brush their teeth I noticed there's a big glob of toothpaste on the floor so I got to clean that up Aaron and bear the middle and youngest have to you know have assistance with getting ready brushing teeth and stuff like that just to be monitored Calvin my oldest he uh, pretty much gets himself ready he's very independent he's doing his own little thing but I have to take care of bear and watch over Aaron get their hair brushed or whatever needs to be done you know in the bathroom as far as getting ready is concerned Aaron can get himself dressed but uh, I do have to kind of help him with the other uh, hygiene things you know <laughs> so then I have to go take care of the cats the cats this week have been a pain in the butt I don't know what their deal is I don't know if it's both of them or just one of them that's the thing about having more than one cat is like you don't know who's causing trouble <laughs> and who's being good so somebody has been peeing in the kids beds uh, this past week which is totally uncool I don't know if they're mad about something or if there's actually an issue. So I have been extra cleaning their litter boxes. I usually only do their litter box like every other day, but I've been doing it twice a day, you know, morning and night to see if that helps make them a little bit happier. I did remember that I had changed out their food the week before. Um, their food, but I, I always change out their food. I try to give them a variety of different brands of food so that they don't get like stuck on one, but I did change out their food last week. And so I, I was like, okay, I'm just going to go to Target, get the brand that I had last week and give it to them and see if that makes them happier. So anyway, I'm trying to figure out the situation with these cats because <laughs> somebody is pissed and peeing on something or has something wrong. So, you know, we gotta figure it out. Anyway, I have some laundry that has been done, so I get that kind of folded, just like some dish towels, kitchen stuff, and random stuff like that. Make the bed, all that good stuff. Gotta keep up on laundry, because I do have, you know, like the, like Barrett's overnight diapers and training pants to do. I have kids' laundry, grown-ups' laundry. Mondays are like, get the laundry situation figured out. You know, I always try to do Monday, do laundry on Mondays. Um, so once I like kind of get through all of that, I could finally start making myself a cup of coffee. I'm not somebody who's like can't function without coffee or like needs a coffee every single day, but I do like to have coffee most days of the week just as something like a special treat for myself. You know, I like having a warm little drink, especially as we're getting here into the colder months and whatnot, but make myself a cup of coffee, get my nice, uh, you know, I have like sugar and like flavored syrup and, um, creamer. I, I like a nice sweet coffee. <laughs> 
So I finally made it through all of that, got my coffee, got to sit down with my book with like, we've got like 10 minutes until it's time to get everybody in the car to get ready for school. So I got 10 minutes of reading time before I had to go help Bear, go potty before we left and get a little bit more dressed for the day. And then get the big kiddos, like their shoes and book bags and jackets situation and everything, just kind of directing everybody to get everybody ready to start going. <laughs> After I dropped off the big kids, me and Bear went to Target for a pickup. Like I said, I had to figure out the cat situation, so I got some some of that fancy litter that like changes colors when they pee in it to see if like maybe somebody has a UTI or something. And I also got them that bag of food that I know that they ate last week and were happy with. So, got that situ situated, uh, going to Target and picking up some stuff. Um, so I went and in their litter box area, I have like an extra litter box underneath the other litter boxes. They already have two for two cats, but anyway, so I took out the other extra litter box. So now they have three. So I'm filling the third one with that fancy litter that hopefully will tell me if the kittens are healthy, right? <laughs> so got that, got them a little bowl of the extra uh, the, the food that they were eating last week, so they have the option to eat the, the new, new food. You know, it's food they've had before, but not for like a month. The new food and the, the food they had last week. And then I, you know, could kind of come uh, unbox the rest of the Target stuff, which was just chips, mostly chips, and a, a new hair clippy for myself. <laughs> I need like a really big oversized clippy because my hair's so long, if I try to like double it up to actually like get it up off of my neck, uh, a standard clippy is not gonna take care of that, right? So I had to get myself a big clippy. <laughs> Back in the cat's area, I noticed that the toilet needed a little bit of scrubbing, so I did a little bit of scrubbing for the cat's toilet, and that's also the laundry room, so I had to check on the laundry once again. Um, this time the diaper training pants laundry was finally done and ready to throw into the wash. You know, it kind of takes extra time because I run like two washes to get like all the pee and stuff out. So, um, got that into the dryer, which the dryer also takes a long time because some of the diapers and stuff are like really thick and need extra dry time. Anyway, I try to start with the diaper laundry first thing so I can like get that stupid extra long load out of the way and then I can get back into like regular kids laundry and whatnot. So. Once I got that kind of figured out, it was time for Bear to do some learning time. Bear has kind of had a little bit of a sickness this past week and he's got, he, I, he seems better, but he still has like a little bit of an attitude. And so I try to like, you know, we're kind of like on eggshells around Bear this week because he's still kind of like not 100% better, I guess. So uh, we did some learning time, but then he started to like really just get fed up with me and it was only like 9.30, but like, you know, uh, it, daylight savings, it just happened, so it felt more like 10.30. Anyway, so Bear starts having an attitude at 9.30, and I'm like, uh, I guess let's just go try to lay down. So I try to go lay him down for a nap, and he immediately falls asleep. So he was obviously tired and just not feeling 100%, and just needed a little bit of extra rest. So I put Bear down super early, so today's gonna be a long day. <laughs> But then while he was napping, I was able to tackle the boys' bathroom, the hall bathroom, which is just a crazy, crazy mess. You know, three boys sharing this bathroom and there's pee all over the edges of the toilet is just like pee everywhere, you know? The baseboards around the toilet, pee. The, the whole countertop covered in toothpaste and they have like so many things on the countertop, like their little timer for their toothpaste when they brush their teeth, they have like two different mouthwashes because each one likes a different one. Um, they have a little basket full of like hair products and brushes and like stuff like that. Their, their counter is just like a mess. So anyway, had to tackle that bathroom because it totally needed to be done. I, it was driving me crazy over the weekend. Every time, every single time that I went in there to help them brush their teeth, I was like, oh my God, I need to clean this bathroom so bad. So tackled that, got that taken care of. Uh, scrub the toilet and the counter and they don't even have like a real mirror yet. Um, if you guys know, we just kind of moved in. We moved in like August, so uh, we're still kind of working on some of the little, you know, finishing touches on the house. But they don't have a real mirror. They just kind of have a mirror that sits there on the counter. So uh, had to take that one down to Windex and clean off and everything. Scrub the tub a little bit. Um, they've actually been really liking to take a bath in my big tub in my bathroom. That's been kind of fun having all three in like a really big tub. But anyway, uh, yeah, so took care of the bathroom and finally, uh, it was like, you know, like things were starting to settle down and I felt like I could finally like take a breath and sit down and read. 
So yeah, I've been super into reading lately. Uh, it's made me really happy just being able to take some time to just be Elena and be happy in Elena's world, not uh, as a mom, you know, not as mom, the title mom all day long. I can just take some time for myself and sit and read and do something that I enjoy. And I've been super loving it lately. It's been really, really nice. So yeah, that's it for this super busy morning. I hope you guys enjoyed this little video. Let me know if you'd like to see more videos like this, just kind of following me around doing stay at home mom things, you know, general housekeeping and taking care of children activities. Let me know if you like this kind of video or if you have other kinds of uh, topics like you would like me to do for the voiceover for whatever kind of cleaning videos or whatever. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed and if you did, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and I'll talk to you guys next time.